Welcome back to another episode of Three Pound Fishing. We're gonna put some big slabs in the boat. But did you hear the news? Mega Live from Humminbird? It's coming, unbelievable. And another version of Lawrence's to compete against the live scope. We're gonna talk about that today. That's the topic of discussion as we put big slabs in the boat. Folks, no joke, slabs going in the boat. That's the agenda today. We got nobody on the water. Nobody on the water. It's a jury, nasty, misty day. But we're doing it. We're putting fish in the boat. Check it out. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Woo! Here we go. Let's try it out. Let's see if we can catch some fish on this live scope. First generation of all of these live technologies that are coming out. I think it's going to be hard pressed for everybody to catch up. I'm going to give you all the information I have on Mega Live. Obviously, the first rendition of Lawrence's live site was a flop, complete flop. Unfortunate. Hopefully, their new system that they have coming out is going to be better. So, right now, we're scoping right now at 50 foot out. We're looking for those fish. We're doing a combination of brush pile fishing and looking for schools all right so we got some structure coming up here it's relatively shallow but i'm still going to probably be pretty aggressive That's our first fish. That's a dandy. That's a dandy. Man, I'll tell you what, technology's come a long way. You know, we used to talk about side imaging and uh, what are the settings? How do you set it up? How do you look at it? What does it mean? You know, and now with these plug and play systems, that is a solid fish right there. Um, it just makes it so much easier for just a good angler to become great. Easy to find structure, plug and play done and so now with these other companies coming out with their versions of life i just i truly believe it's just going to get better 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 and that competition is going to spurn better technology some people are going to call it cheating and folks kind of is cheating i guess but it is still a sonar it's not a video which makes it legal and no i don't think tournaments or trails are going to ever take that away from us in fact they've made it pretty clear that they're not going to take it away so you just got to adjust and uh the people that can find the bigger fish are going to be the ones that are successful so you got to be able to still find those fish and these definitely don't make the fish bite we've heard that a thousand times it's just the truth they don't i play with i, I definitely mix it up quite a bit with baits and i like to cast this will be casting at it these guys are about eight foot down and they're about 20 foot in front of me we're going to see if we can't get a bite here i love casting there it is on cue good eater good eater i think in the fall and the winter time just the ability to mix it up because these fish are definitely going to come up they're going to be closer to the surface that's a solid fish so your ability to cast it becomes critical now a lot of people will go with a shorter rod i still love the 10 footer folks i'm not gonna lie i like the 10 footer i can cast with it i can jig with it i can flip with it and so to each his own um i'd rather have that than have a a, a variety of different lengths in my boat although i do but i don't keep them up on the deck almost every pole i have on the deck is going to be a 10 footer keeps it very consistent I didn't take long. Solid eater. So what I can recollect or what I can, what I can tell from Hummingbird is that it has one ray. 
which makes me feel like it could be more first generation live scope from Garmin where we only had the one, one, I believe it's called array. I'll have to get the right terminology there, but. All right, when you have one array on a Garmin live scope system, that it would be the LVS-12. That's gonna give you basically 30 degrees of view and you can view that whether it be in forward or down, but you cannot view them together. That's 30 degrees. When you put three of those arrays together, you get 135 in terms of degree of, of view, and that's what you like to see. That's what you're used to see. So when we look up the new Hummingbird transducer, we see one array, which makes you wonder whether or not it's truly more like the LVS-12, which is just with one degree, one array, only giving you 30 degrees of view. That's my personal penny when I look at it. Now I know that the advantage of it totally is that there's not gonna be a black box. I think that that would be fantastic not to have to have a black box. That's just one thing that doesn't go wrong again. It's one less thing that could go wrong. So the idea that you don't have one, I like that. So hopefully that sticks with it and hopefully it's better than, better than what I think it's going to be. But when I look at that transducer and I'll show an image right now on the screen of that, of course, is it just looks like it's one ray array rather than the three like the Garmin has. And so I don't know what that means, but that's what it looks like. So don't get me wrong, folks. I'm excited about Hummingbird because I think it's going to bring a lot of competition. And I hope they have one that's very similar, if not better than Garmin's, because um, that would be a good thing for us, I believe. But I think there's something about the coating, the ability to stitch those arrays together that makes it unique to Garmin. And maybe that's what their proprietary you know, technology is, is that ability to stitch those together. But you know, I'm kind of guessing on that for sure. I am guessing on that, let's just say it that way. But uh, regardless, exciting to see Hummingbird and Lowrance coming out with something. Right, great fish. So I'm using the Ozark rods, of course. Ozark rod, check them out, .com. Uh, three pound fishing elite series. Man, we have sold out of the 13 footers. There's very few stores that have them. I know they're sold out at ozarkrod.com, but hang tight. They ordered more, they're on their way. So, uh, but the 10, the 11, the 12 footers, check them out. The perfect amount of weight now. I still play with the 11 foot or the gray ones too because I have them in my boat. But uh, the three pound fishing ones are my favorite. fish there. Aww. I think they're coming on folks. I think they're coming on. So yeah, great things. New sponsors for 2021. Going to do all the big trails. Uh, really focus in, focus, focus in on the national qualifiers of the big trails, ACT, Crappie Masters. That is going to be my focus. Probably do the Wally uh, Marshall, Mr. Crappie Invitational at the end of the year. The goal is to finish really high in the rankings and try to go get in the top 10 of the Angler of the Year. That's, that'd be either one of the trails. And so the only way you can do that is really to compete at that, uh, at those events. And those events are so time consuming, it makes it hard to compete locally uh effectively so you can't really put in the pre-fish locally if you're going to be doing weeks on end at these other bigger events so the plan is to to fish the big events and so i'll take you along for the ride as i always do and that was a lot of fun at the mr crappie invitation as i did it at every event actually so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna add a tickle fry right now so i've been fishing a lot with the uh, air jigs but sometimes when you cast, I think first off, a plastic will have a slower fall rate because it's pushing the water away from it. It's not absorbing it. So I like that. Plus, 
I want the action of that paddle tail. And we are misty, misty, misty today. There is fish everywhere. Now that's interesting. That's two great drops. You can see, you probably can see that dang screen from where you're at. It's so bright. Uh, that's two great drops with the, with the plastic and no bites. Smaller guy, a dum dum. Good fish here, folks. Good fish. Oh, oh, and it got off. Oh, that is so sad. <laughs> that was a solid fish. 13, 14 inch. Good night. I hope you got something on that other on one. And it got my bait. And I'll tell you, I, I, it goes back to using these split shots. These split shots pierce the line and occasionally you'll lose a fish and it broke at the split shot. Dang it. And it was the only one of those particular hair jigs that I had made. I always make a rule of thumb to make five of everything I make. And uh, that one, that day, that night I said, oh, I'll just make one. Another fishy. Woohoo! Catching them everywhere. It doesn't really seem to matter. Whether it's one here, one there, there's no, definitely not a hot side of the lake. It seems like they're just scattered everywhere. Thought we'd come out here and there'd be schools of fish, but reality is <laughs> they're, they're still on piles which is interesting because this water temperature, this time of year, usually you'd see them in schools more so than they are now. I mean, there are some schools, but not many. Which might be the difference between why the, the power plant not running, I don't know. Good fish. Thanks for joining me today, I appreciate it. Right now I think live scope wins, but we're gonna find out real soon here with Hummingbird and, and Lorance. But I'm excited about the competition. That's a solid fish. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, I think that's gonna be really it. I'm gonna go get my boat prepped up for the three pound fishing guide service tomorrow. Got guide trips booked. Gosh, almost December is almost all booked. So pretty much looking January, February. Or you can book in the spring. Check it out, folks.